This came out today, Thursday, 19th November 2020. The title is, Let Our Hopes Help Us to Survive This Pandemic. As the first lockdown was dawning, I was trying to get back from India after my flights had been cancelled twice, and I sought support from my friends in Britain. Through the Vande Bharat scheme, the Indian government was repatriating its citizens from across the globe, including from Britain. Yet I was trying to travel in the opposite direction from Chennai to London. Some people, including a few of my own family members, thought I was mad. This was partially true, perhaps due to the guilty feeling from my own conservative Catholic influence, but I also had a strong hope that my decision to hurry back to Britain would bear benefit. The latest news about a vaccine development and its potential availability in the near future strengthens our hopes for a return to normal life. The results from the final stage of testing encourage us to keep holding our nerve through this inevitable second lockdown. In the midst of despair, hope offers strength to survive. I have tried very hard these last months to keep my hope alive and share this same hope with others. I have had to self-isolate three times and doing everything online has at times been testing of my hope. But the understanding, generosity and the kindness of people around me have been great. And reminding myself constantly of this goodness has helped to keep my hope alive. We are caught unaware by COVID-19 and have suffered terrible loss of lives and horrendous damage to the economy. But I personally believe we have an efficient political system that stands with hope of recovery from both the pandemic as well as the economy. We have managed to pull through the last difficult months. So let us continue to find ways to manage with the lockdown as well. Let us have faith in the systems that protect us and hope that we are now at the beginning of the end of this pandemic. Faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Hebrews 11.1